rather concerning because Matteo Minozzi, who took that despite the pressure, is still down. And he's got a very heavily strapped knee, which he hurt last year Good after tackle. such a wonderful start to his international career two seasons ago in this championship. Oh, and through goes Farrell, and Farrell's looking for support, it is there. And what a start to the match. What a way to celebrate your 100th cap. He scored the last time these two sides met in Newcastle back in September. And he's got the first try here, Ben Youngs, okay. after yeah, less than five minutes. It's Come turned over, over yeah, by Turgi. Very sharp right, right. from the Saracens lot. Not so sharp there from Sinclair. And here's Canner again. Pelledri. Pelledri inside the 22. Can anyone stop him? What a try. Jake Pelledri. Well, my word. I think the referee signaling that's perfectly good. There was a hot potato going around all over the place, but I mean, that boy can finish. No doubt one or two players in white will realise they've really got to step things up in this second 40. This their first match no. of any kind in white. Oh, and through goes Youngs. One try already for the man on his 100th cap. He's now got a second. England with the second try, leading by 17 points to five. But it's one scrum half of the recipient yeah. of another's mistake. And Violi really, mate, you don't do that. You just make sure there's another guard there, or you just take your time. Can the Azuri defend this? There's Jamie George. England building up a little bit of momentum. Don't expect this to go too far. At least not wide, it's over the line. And it's Jamie George who's got the score. Pascal Gozer is there. It's well. Well, here we go. Pascal okay. Gozer okay. and Roman Quart. The Sorry, there has to be a try. Yeah. I, was just... I was thinking the line is easy. Okay, try. You can see it's confused by the line. <laughs> because there are two lines. There's a lot of paint on easiest, there, but again, I was just twice. letting the, the touch judge come in and have a word because if he hadn't allowed that, yeah, the world has definitely gone mad. Johnny Hill with a two-handed turn, a very promising position. It's now with Jamie George. He's got Ben Young's outside. Here's Tom Curry, the sale man, and he's stolen a march down the blind side. And Tom Curry it is who gets the fourth try. England doing the job that they need to do. They've got the five points. They now want to get a few more points to build up that points difference. Every point matters. Farrell with a little stab through. Slade gets after it. So to Earl. There's Earl. Up to Slade. And Slade gets the try. Hold in front. Up to the skies. He's going to test that big out. It's brilliant. And you can see the way it's holding up in the breeze, causing utter chaos. That one has been knocked in on. Front. And then Ryan Elias is offside. Yeah, straight by there. And then he's in front. Wow. It's another long ranger. For the Scotland fly half. Can he strike this time? It's tracking pretty true. The flags are raised. And Scotland have some reward for their early pressure. Round the corner they go. Big the Scottish defence this. Go, go. The best defence in the championship Seven. being stretched to Seven. its Seven. limits. Seven. Will it be broken? Andrew Bray says yes, it has. Wales capitalise on a leaky lineout. And Rhys Carney, the Cardiff Colossus, scores his first try in the red of Wales. From the Blues to Saracens and back again. And now scoring on the West Wallian coast. Wales with the first try of the afternoon. And with the clock reds, Adam Hastings just on for Finn Russell has the chance to cut the gap to a solitary point. And there is a chance the fly half is taken good, mate. on earlier than half. expected, but yeah. delivering from the tee. Half time. Get up. High risk from Scotland. Yeah. Will it yield the reward they crave? They've completed the first part of the task, win the line out. And that mall is rumbling forward with ominous intent. McAnally controlling. McAnally scoring. Rips through the heart of the...
the Welsh pack. Scotland back on the board. And their qualified pilot, Stuart McAnally, has given them liftoff in this Six Nations tussle. Jamie Ritchie, off. just on the wrong side of the referee. Patchell, there was a chance if that had gone to hand instead. Williams has to bake a cake with crumbs and Duan van der Merwe. In fact, it was Chris Harris, dynamites him. Patchell, oh, it's not happening for Wales, it's Jonathan Davis spilling. Scotland swarm him like a pack of tigers. Scotland win the penalty. And that might do it, you know. Yeah. This is a seismic kick. The captain smashes it between the posts, smashes it into the stands. And Scotland's 18 years of Welsh misery come to a thundering halt in the Parky Scarlets. Jamie Ritchie, a tiger at the breakdown. Stuart Hogg leading from the front. And Scotland's men's team have a first win on Welsh soil since 2002. Dupont arrives a little bit late there, but gets there. Here's Bernard Larue, perhaps fortunate to be playing in this match. He was sighted, dropped an elbow into the throat of Alan Wynne Jones in that Wales game, but was cleared to play. Here's Boutier, finds Fiku. Fiku, oh, beautiful footwork sliding around defenders. Oh, he has sliced his way through that Irish wide out defence. And Antoine Dupont, he is the man who runs those sensational support lines. So far, the French defence has been signed. Remember, coached by Sean Edwards, former Welsh defensive coach. Keane Healy on his 100th appearance for Ireland. Is he going to get a try? Digs that shoulder in and gets there. Well, you saw power from the French in defence. Now you see the power from the Irish in attack. France are down a man, though, so they're attacking here with 14 players and they're missing a playmaker. They've got an advantage, though. Here's Dupont. Cyril by Vakatawa. Little tip on. And Stockdale again, and they're through here. Oh, that, that's got to be a penalty try, surely. And it is Wayne Barnes straight under the post. Cross is tackled off the ball, and there was no hesitation there. Johnny Sexton tracks back. Mid-30s. Now Johnny Sexton still going strong, says he wants to play until he's 40. Boutier does really well, then gets the offload away into Mac. Chance on the outside for Gil Ficou, just checks his pace, and then he gets checked by Johnny Sexton. But Dupont is there, and they score the French. And it's Dupont's halfback partner, his Toulouse halfback partner. It's Romain Intermac who gets the try. Sizzling stuff from France again. The visits to the 22 from Ireland, you know, they've spent a lot of time, four minutes, 11 seconds, but there hasn't been the return. No, only the one try. And not a lot all. You know, you'd expect a quality side like Ireland with so many 22 visits to come out with a bit more try. And here we go, Henshaw on the break. On the outside, Robbie Henshaw for the oh, try. What a wonderful individual try. Gets there. Brilliant stuff from Robbie Henshaw. Good use of the advantage by Wayne Barnes. Gregory Aldrich. So many referees blow up for scrum penalties in situations like that. But France are going to get their chance here. And it's into Mac into the space. And he gathers. Look at the pace from into Mac to Vakatawa. Stand well back, everybody, because that is a different class. Gibson Park, Robbie Henshaw scored that really bullish try. Now Ross Byrne on the outside. Now as you go, Keenan gets the offload away to Stockdale, who's through. Jacob Stockdale on the blow adds to his really impressive tally of tries for Ireland. That's number 17.